Hearts to fifth since their last victory in round 25. And they expected no favours from a Parramatta outfit, which was still entertaining hopes of semi-final action. Your commentator at Belmore, Paul Williams. Olympics extensive list of casualties means a reshuffle defence. Peter Sakenis and Sebastian Sinizic taking on the marking roles with Scott Thomas as the sweeper. You saw that was quashed 4-0 in Auckland in midweek. Millay Stajowski and Joel Griffiths returned to the front line. John Gibson, Steve Labert and Dave Barrett complete the extensive clear out with three points a must for Parramatta as they chase a top six finish. Well, Parramatta get us underway here at Belmore. Three points at stake as always, but extra anxiety for both of these two teams tonight. Olympic clinging to a top six place despite a horror stretch in which they've taken two points out of their last 15. Parramatta want to steal Olympic's top six spot, but they must get all the points tonight to have any chance of doing that. The referee this evening is Jerry Connolly from Melbourne. It's a beautiful Sydney evening, just a little bit fresh as winter gets a little closer. And that's offside as a good cross comes in. It was well plucked out of the air by John Peroche, but it will be a free kick for UTS Olympic on the far side of the ground. Joel Griffiths reinstated into the lineup tonight after being on the bench in Auckland during the week, somewhat surprisingly. Emerton, and it's very lively indeed, and is stopped there by Mark Burns, and it's a good early ball from Burns to Sterjowski. Intelligent play. Sterjowski now waiting for support. There's Griffiths, who tried to take it on the turn. He's still going, Griffiths. Well, it was a ball he had no right to hang on to, really, but he almost managed to. Cardoso, Emerton, this time he's onside, there's a couple waiting in the centre, Brett Emerton whips it across! Well, good ball to the near post. Joining in the attack were Gutsoulis and Aaron Bassage it was, who was flying towards that front post. layoff from Griffiths was a gem he continues his run forward but Wilson ever industrious covering Love is offside quite clearly Burns now that's a great ball over the top by Burns the goalkeeper's off his line and did very well indeed is still danger here Herosh scurrying back, Parramatta forward, great chance, good save. Well, John Perosh got back between the sticks as quick as he could there because Stojowski was lining one up. And it was played beautifully across. Burns with a clever dummy. Stojowski chose to place it and Perosh was there. Well, Mille Stojowski has got one eye on a top six place for Parramatta and another eye on being in Raul Blanco's Olympic squad for the Sydney 2000 Games. And the more times he hits the back of the net, the more likely he is to be selected. A good header! Goal! And it is Mille Sturjowski at the far post, unmarked, who notches goal number 11 for the season. Well, Griffiths and Sturjowski combining, and perhaps that Olympic dream is getting well, a little bit closer for Mille Sturjowski. Well, it was hit very flat, the corner. Griffiths tried to head towards goal. He found Sturjowski. Griffiths' header would have actually missed. Sturjowski made sure that it didn't. And Parramatta, who need the points, have got off to a good start here. Dosa, Emerton, trying to run in behind the defence. It trickled through to the goalkeeper, Aaron Basic. Waiting for something to be played across by Emerton. He 
Eagleton just waiting just a little bit too long for the ball. Kohler got there first, and that's a fine ball from Kohler, and a push very clearly in the back on Pablo Cardoso, but Paul Kohler has really impressed in the opening 28 minutes here. And Dave Barrett knew that Cardoso was the danger man, and the free kick was taken quickly there. And then it was brought back to be taken again. So a second bite at the cherry for Pablo Cardoso. Marisic not too far away as well. Terry Connolly wanting everything to be done by the book. The wall back 10 yards. Andrew Cruz, now the whistle comes. Cardoso takes it. Good stop. Well, an extra good stop by Andrew Cruz because he was moving to his right before he had to throw himself to the left. Cardoso curled it, got past the wall, Cruz at full stretch. Intercepted by Eagleton as the ball was headed towards Cardoso. Here's Burns now. Oh, it's a nice little ball inside to Griffiths. Skips past his man. He's got Burns outside him. Burns forward. A clever ball to Sturjowski. The back heel. This is a brilliant move. Well, Burns was just blocked at the final attempt on goal. And now look at this. Sydney Olympic have four onto four. As Marisic comes forward and brings in Gutsoulis. Emerton's coming outside, but Marisic was the player who was aimed for there. Here's Cardoso. Well, a fully fit Marisic, you suspect, would have got to that ball. It was definitely the run to make and definitely the pass to play. Just didn't quite seem to have the legs, but Griffiths was a player who's certainly got plenty of that. Joel Griffiths, another player who's got his eyes on a spot at the Sydney 2000 Olympics Burns Griffiths let it go here's Adone Sturjowski oh it was Adone blocked it his own teammate an Olympic are going to escape here but that was a tragic bit of luck, really, for Parramatta. Looked a certain goal to Sturjowski. And Cardozo fouls in the centre of midfield. But it could so easily have been 2-0 to the power. players through the centre, flicked on, which is very easy for the goalkeeper in that circumstance. Marisic on the ball. Gutsoulis. Marisic waiting inside again. This time it goes to Emerton. Wilson's free on the left-hand side. Thomas forward from the back as well. Emerton finds him. Olympic very patient this time. Here's Gutsoulis. Well, that's a corner. Despite a few protests from Parramatta defence, but this is his earlier move. Great dummy by Griffiths. Ardone came and he fell down. That was an open goal for Sturjowski, but it came off the heel of Ardone. Oh, look at the space on the right for Sturjowski. Oh, Burns... Tried to play him in, it was just a little bit behind Mille Sturjowski. Look at the space on the right this time for Elrich. Early ball in. Labert. Labert still in space. Burns curls it! 
Well, not a bad try there by Jacob Burns. Perhaps just wrong putting the goalkeeper for a split second. There's the obvious corner was the right-hand corner as we looked at it. He went the opposite side. Shots on goal count has evened up at five apiece. Oh, it's a lazy ball from Labert and an awkward ball as well. He just looked a little casual with that. He didn't quite catch it cleanly. Cruz had to scramble. And the power will be absolutely kicking themselves if there's a goal from this corner by Sydney Olympic. Cola. That's asking way too much, even off the pacey Brett Emerton. And he's done well stepping up from youth team football to the National Soccer League, Paul Cola. Still learning his way very much, just his fifth NSL match. Thomas. One to chase for Aaron Basic. Labour will get there. Now goes back. Cruz. This is calm play by the Parramatta defence. Well taken quickly and intelligently. Elrich caught out somewhat. Cardozo waiting for some support. Oh, it's a good pass to Emerton. This is something before half time. Across the goal. Well, a very free flowing move there by Olympic with George Katsoulis trying to get in on the act right at the last minute. Maybe time to take the corner. Marisic aware that we're several minutes into time added on and not enough time at all. As Jerry Connolly blows the whistle. And in the game, which neither side can afford to lose, it's Parramatta power in control at the moment. Mille Sturjowski with the only goal of the first half after a header from Griffiths found him at the far post. It's Sydney Olympic nil, Parramatta power one. Welcome back to Belmore, where the news is that Sydney Olympic have brought on Chichi Mendes at halftime to play in a role just behind the two attackers so Branko Colina gets one of his aces back in action in this second half and he needs him as well Olympic trailing by one goal to nil here at Belmore Brett Emerton to join Pablo Cardoso in attack all six substitutes were warming up at the halftime break so I think we can expect more movement from the respective benches. But what a great sight it is to see Chichi Mendes back in action. One of the most colourful players in the National Soccer League. It was feared that he wouldn't play again this season. He's back before the finals even, so it's a real boost for Branko Kalina's side. As Sakenis is back there and Mendes back in action as well he's a little bit short of match practice as i'm sure you can appreciate he's certainly not right according to branko galina but when you're a goal down and you're desperate for points you ask a lot of your players and that's exactly what Colina's doing here turned away quickly helped on quickly again Emerton well no one can get there in the center Mendes really try hard to pump those legs there's Cardoso Pablo Cardoso well he took the shot brilliantly he has this ability to create so much time on the ball for himself he really did take his time as he found the shot 
it was blocked for a corner This time beaten to the ball. Mendes. Back to Emerton. Mendes wins it back. Nice little touch from him. Space on the left for Thomas. First of all, he goes back towards the right. Emerton stealing in, plays it back. Mendes! Here's Cardoso! Well, two and a couple of minutes from Pablo Cardoso suggests that he is very much warming to the task here for Olympic. If there is a goal to come from somewhere, the smart money would be on this man. Mendes left it on purpose, Cardoso on the volley, and that didn't miss by much. If you can manage to make it into the finals, into the top six in the NSL, most coaches will tell you that form coming into the finals is the most important thing and I guess neither of these two sides are really in top form coming into this stage of the season four or five games left to hit their straps before the top six playoffs begin will these two teams be there well certainly Sydney Olympics should be currently sitting in fifth place but their position is under threat Parramatta Power are a chance as well if they can come away with the full three points here this evening. And that is a goal kick. season Parramatta were beaten 2-1 by Sydney Olympic at Parramatta Stadium Norman Tome and Peter Zorbis getting the goals on that particular night both are on the bench tonight for Sydney Olympic but may yet be called into action that's a terrible kick Cardoso Perezimir Marisic free on the left Marisic across Well, it was a gem of a cross from Marisic and it's Chichi Mendes in the centre to finish it off. Well, Mendes with an immediate impact. Within 10 minutes of coming on, he's found the back of the net. Well, you don't need to be match fit to finish off a quality ball like that from around six metres out. Cardozo had Parramatta outnumbered. Marisic measured the pass and Mendes buried the ball in the back of the net. And the game is level at one apiece. And another quality strike for Chichi Mendes. Well, that changes the complexion of the game quite significantly and it changes the optimism of Olympic as they search forward here with Thomas Marisic in space. Three on the right is Everton. Cardoso's waiting in the centre. It's an awkward one, but Barrett getting there before the goalkeeper. And Everton could have been forgiven for going for goal himself there. has livened up and Everton goes down. And Mendes will welcome the opportunity to conjure up something from the set piece.
Burns trying to get away, just outnumbered in the end. Mendes oh, puts it in front of Emerton superbly. Brett Emerton now waiting for support. Goes outside. Brilliant move this by Olympic. Loose ball. Well, the power escaped there thanks to some marvellous work by the goalkeeper, Andrew Cruz. Cardozo now. Was Cardozo offside? Or was it Brent Everton on the far side? Well, let's take another look here. Mendez's ball was brilliant. Well, Cardozo was onside there. I'm not sure that he realised it because his back was to play somewhat. That's a couple of times we've seen that passive offside being given as offside here. That's well over the bar. So plenty of talking points in the last few minutes here at Belmore. The stakes are pretty high. Mendes. Well, I don't know it was there. I don't so prepared to chase a lost cause. Well, it could have fallen so conveniently there for Burns or Griffiths. Plenty of space out there now as players start to get a little bit tired. Players committed forward, Griffiths and Stajowski, two of them. Elrich inside, Ardone. It's a very good challenge. As soon as it's Tigerish in the tackle there. Oh, that's a terrible ball to Ardone. A very severe price could have been paid there had Walter Ardone been a little bit more lethal with the finish. No harm done at this stage. It's George Gonzalez with that wayward ball. South Americans in the team combining in typical South American flair <laughs> Mendes, that's a nice turn I do so Brilliant chip from Mendes to Pablo Cardoso. He's still got a bit of work to do. Still Cardoso. Foul. Well, the ball from Mendes was a delight. You get the feeling that Cardoso has welcomed Chichi Mendes back into the fold. A service that he likes. Certainly provided on a regular basis when Olympics number 14 is in action. Here are the two men that I'm just talking about. Mendes over the ball. Perhaps taking control of the set-piece scenarios now. Certainly, if he's feeling pretty confident, how's his touch? We'll see. Mendes over the wall! Well, a perfect height. Everything seemed to be exactly right, but the shot flashed past the post. Great curl, great dip just missed now Labert surging forward once again Griffiths got past Sinizic but not past Wilson Mendes the reverse pass was a good one and it's Scott Thomas leading the charge from the sweeper position now Thomas a deep ball Cardozo keeps it in well Emerton's at the back post Barrett was just in front of him Gutsoulis Cardozo Zorbus lets it run as a free man on the left 
Philbus says in space on the right. Time for turning for Mendes. Mendes takes the shot. Well, he's not really renowned for his long range shooting, Chichi Mendes, despite his bag of tricks, but that was a fine effort and a good save, too. for Cardoso that one just over 13 minutes remaining here at Belmore Sydney Olympic one Parramatta power one a draw really of no use to either side with the cross Sydney Olympic with two draws in their last two games against Brisbane 2-2 and against Canberra 1-1 when they played with 10 men for about 87 minutes of the game. challenge there on Sturjowski to scrap through the center and power come away with the ball with Elrich free on the right hand side good ball to the near post what a very intelligent ball from Elrich and Sturjowski is down with cramp as Olympic come forward and Emerton's in here Brett Emerton just the goalkeeper to beat and that was an outstanding recovery from Mark Burns who nonchalantly just walked back to his spot for the corner. It's all in a nice work for him, but again, Mendes the key. Emerton got behind Burns. It must have been tempting for Burns there to try and just clip his ankles outside the area. Substitution made by Paramount Power, number 22, Kimon Teliodorus, on for number nine. A return to the National Soccer League for Kimon Teliodorus. So many great seasons. South Melbourne in the early 90s and later on at several other clubs as well. Can he come up with something here against his old club? That's a deflection! And a very good stop as well by Perosh. Well, John Gibson lined it up from all of 40 metres there, and Perosh watched it all the way. Theodorus to Elrich. Griffiths, back heel, Elrich. That was a very clean tackle by Sakenis as Mendes goes down. Taken quickly. Take a look at Bennett tangling with Mendes and Cardoso forward this time he goes down under the challenge from Labour well, Jerry Connolly is calling Steve Labour over Cardoso and Mendes pulling the strings once again from the set piece. Mendes took the last one, it just flashed past the post. Was that one to just get his range? Cardozo's there. This time it's Cardozo's turn. Good goal! Does he find them? We're not sure, but we love them. Pablo Cardoso with a superb free kick. Well, I wasn't sure whether it was dipping in or not, but it really dropped viciously. And no chance there for Andrew Cruz. 
all eyes on Mendes perhaps. They left it. Cardozo took it and Olympic lead 2 1. Labert. Griffiths. Well, that's a late challenge. Griffiths may yet pay a price for that challenge, but Parramatta Power may be a, pay a bigger price if Emerton can finish and it's over the bar. Well, the advantage was played by the referee. And Brett Emerton, for the second time tonight with just the goalkeeper to beat, doesn't manage to finish. Well, it's a tortuous time for the coaches. For different reasons, though. Franco Kalina wants to keep what he's got. Dave Mitchell is desperate for an equaliser. It's not going to come low because it's a very happy Easter for Sydney Olympic back in winning ways after five games of playing without a three-point result at the end. But second half goals to Chichi Mendes, who came on at halftime and made a real impact on the match. And a brilliant free kick by Pablo Cardoso to take him to goal number 18 for the season. They were the money men for Sydney Olympic. And it's finished. Olympic 2, Parramatta Power 1.